What's up, guys? It's your boy Giovanni, the G35 fam, back at it again with another upload on the channel. So if this is your first time tuning into the channel, feel free to subscribe, show some love, put that thumbs up, show your support by sharing the video, you know, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to show your support to the G35 fam, and I greatly appreciate it. Now, it's been a long time since I last posted. It's been probably since six months ago or more. I know it was maybe like last summer, but I haven't been posting in forever. So I thought I'd just give a little up to date and uh, let you know what's going on. Obviously, I have the G35 working. I did a post with uh, me uh, getting an alignment on it. That was the last thing I needed to do. But um, yeah, for the longest time, I was trying to figure out what was going on with the G. I have uploads of me replacing CV axles, control arms. A lot of little stuff that I've been doing to the G to try to figure out what the problem was. And I ended up finding that it was the drive shaft on on the front drive shaft of the G35. So now that I got that up and going, now my G is back and running. So it gives me more of the confidence and, you know, motivation to, you know, start making content again. Now, unfortunately, they told me that I need new tires, which I kind of figured I was going to need new tires. So... Right now, I'm in the process of trying to figure out which rims that I want for my G35. Um, the main thing I need is tires, but I said, you know, if I'm going to get tires, I might as well go all out and get wheels. So I'm trying to, you know, see what I can see what I can get, what looks good on the G. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But for the longest time, guys, I just I haven't been uh, putting that much love into the G35, being that I couldn't figure out what it was. And when I did figure it out, then you know that gave me a little motivation to get the G up and running. So um, things that I have upcoming for the G, of course, I want to get wheels. That's the main thing. I haven't had wheels on this car since I got it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see. And I did get 370Z wheels if y'all remember, but I didn't know that having staggered wheels on an all-wheel drive will mess up the whole all-wheel drive system. There's ways to uh, you know get around it, but I didn't want to go through that whole much that big of a headache so i ended up selling those wheels and now i'm in the market of trying to get you know you know some other wheels for my g nothing too fancy but i, I do want to go 18s instead of you know 17s i want to go 18s make it a little bit you know more flashier on the g but um that's something i'm looking at doing as far as cosmetic stuff guys uh the front of the G35, I want to change the fog lights that I customized. I want to change them to an orange. So the ones that I was looking at, they were they're meant for like off-roading, for like the Toyota Tundra or the Tacoma and all. They're like for off-roading, but I'm gonna get some of those and customize them to work on my G35. So we're gonna see how that looks. Uh, the front split out. I'm thinking about getting rid of it and doing something different. As long as uh, you know. It fits the G35, the style. I don't want it to look over, you know, dramatic and, you know, looks all ricer-ish, if that's a word. But I want to make it look clean and fit the, you know, the look of what I'm trying to go for. Also, replace the side, uh, the side skirts that I have. I want to get rid of those and do something different. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then uh, as far as the uh, the lighting, I was thinking about putting some underglow lights on here since I am sponsored by up one lighting I do get like a discount and all that so I was looking at getting some underglow lights since I already have the floor floorboard lights that I customize uh hardwired if you haven't checked out that video check it out pretty clean little setup guys like the way I did it so every time I turn the car on the lights already on, automatically come on and everything's you know controlled from my app so it's all bluetooth so it's pretty dope but um yeah I want to do something like that and then you know we'll go from there but the main thing was getting the g working uh for performance guys i really want to get a whole full uh intake like the the either k and or the engine uh, uh full intake looking at that as far as cats and all that i don't know if i want to do test pipes or you know, I, I really haven't thought about that. My main thing was just getting the car working since I do use this for work. So now that it's working, I can little by little start doing a little bit of mods since I haven't had the car for so long. Um, now it feels good to have the car back. But I just thought I'd give you a little up to date because it's been a while since I last posted. And I've noticed that 
there's a lot of uh, original uh, YouTubers that are G35 owners that are uh, YouTubers that uh, they haven't really been posting. So I was wondering, like, you know, what's going on. So now that I'm back, hopefully, you know, I get some support from the other G35 owners and all that. And we just get this, uh, this G35 up and going. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a little video, let y'all know what's going on. Got the G back. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this car a really good detailing. And uh, we'll go from there. But, like always, guys, if y'all enjoy the content, make sure y'all put that thumbs up. Check out the other uploads, guys. I do a lot of videos on uh, on the G35. So, if you are a new subscriber, then check out those videos. But, other than that, guys, I'll see you on the next one. It's your boy Giovanni. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.